There are really three main options for SVT. The first is to do nothing at all. As I mentioned earlier, occasionally patients have such rare SVT that they'd rather not treat it in any fashion, and that's not an unreasonable approach for patients who very, very rarely have episodes. The second option is medication. Medications work well in that they can help to control the tachycardia. They're safe. It's rare to have serious side effects from them. But the problem with medicines for SVT is that, unfortunately, there is no medicine that makes the actual cause of the arrhythmia go away. It's not, for example, like having an ear infection where you take antibiotics and it cures you. And so the third option, which is the one that we usually recommend in slightly older children, is an ablation. In an ablation, using a catheter, we identify the location in the heart where the arrhythmia is coming from, and then we either burn or freeze that area away. And if we're successful, then the patient is cured of the arrhythmia. And as you would imagine, most people would just as soon be cured rather than have to take a chronic medication. I'm Dr. Robert Pass. I'm the director of the Children's Heart Center here at Mount Sinai, and I would love to help you in taking care of your children. If you have any questions or concerns, the contact information is below. Please feel free to give us a call at any time.